Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading from the 26th of October to the 1st of November 2020 for the sign of Cancer. Uh, and it will be Sun, Moon and Rising. So let's get straight into your reading Cancer and pull your first overarching energy for the week. So what do we have for Cancer, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Cancerians. 26th of October to the 1st of November, 2020. What is the message Cancer needs to hear? Thank you. Message for Cancer, thank you. Okay, so it, the Knight of Cups came out, Cancer, but it came out reversed, which is interesting. Um, so we will pop that down. I'm going to pull a clarifier with that. Let's have a clarifier for this Knight of Cups reverse, please, Angels, Spirits, Guides. When things fall out reversed, I think it's poignant to just take note of them. So let's go with it and we will... Okay, so I ha it's a nice energy to have with that. We have the Six of Wands victory. Okay, so what do we have, please? I did say the Knight of Cups, didn't I? Knight of Cups. So what do we have, please, for Cancer Angel Spirits Guides? Thank you. Yeah, I like this, Cancer. We have Re-Energize. And Angels, what is the message for our lovely Cancerians? Thank you. 26th of October to the 1st of November 2020. What is the message Cancer needs to hear? Okay, we've got listen to your intuition. So in this situation, there's a feeling of listen to your intuition here. Okay. So Cancer, I'm going to pull four cards. The first card is you, your current situation. Second card is your challenge. Third card, advice from spirit. And your fourth card is the outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deep into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. Okay, so we have the two of wands. King of cups is your challenge. Again, this cups energy. So we have the nine of pentacles. And we have the Five of Swords at the end. So Five of Pentacles is the advice from Spirit. And the Five of Swords is the outcome. It's interesting, even at the bottom of this deck, I pre-shuffle off camera before every reading as well as on camera. And I have the King of Cups again. Um, it's water energy again. So Cancer can be you. Uh, can also be Pisces, Scorpio, fellow water sign. Okay, let's clarify the cards, please, angels, spirits, guides, and go deeper into the message. I've got a few cards here, but let's go with it. We have the Eight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. This is you, Cancer. And we have the Moon. Ten of Swords clarifies the King of Cups. Seven of Pentacles clarifies the Nine of Pentacles. And the Five of Swords, we have the Hermit card of Virgo. Bottom of the deck, I have the Six of Cups here, Cancer. Okay. So there is definitely a message of victory coming through, a time that feels, I mean, the, the Cups energy, you've got the Knight of Cups, I saw at least two King of Cups, it feels to do with some kind of person here and it feels like a relationship cancer because the Queen of Cups, which is you, and this King of Cups, it feels like a, a relationship. And there's a kind of feeling here that 
you don't know how to move forward. Now, sometimes this can be choices between two people. Um, sometimes this can be how do we get back on track? How do we find stability, security and solidity? And that's what I'm feeling this reading is. How do we get that back? Or how do you get that back? Let's clarify the Six of Cups. Let's clarify the Six of Cups, please, at the end. Yeah. Well, the good thing is, whatever the situation is, I definitely feel for some of you, you are finding your joy at the end of this reading. This is transformation in terms of your emotions, your happiness, your joy, reconnecting to who you are, Cancer. So it definitely feels in this energy that there is some kind of victory. Now, the Six of Wands is a card of, of somebody who has overcome a challenge and they claim the victory because they're putting it behind them, but they've also discovered what they're made of in seeing something through and overcoming it. It can be linked with public recognition. It is a card of success and achievement. It's a card of progress as well. And it feels to do with this Knight of Cups because the, the Cups can be to do with that love, romance, relationships, and I am feeling that here, Cancer. Now, the Knight of Cups reverse can be something that has got you down. It can also be, sometimes it can be when your imagination is running wild in a relationship. Um, it can be about magnified thinking, um, overthinking, overactive imagination in whatever situation this relates to. But it can be about, I mean, it might well be also to do with jealousy. It feels like it's affecting a relationship. So it's something that has got you down. It can also involve jealousy in some way. But it's a message here, Cancer, that you are going to come through the other side of this situation and feel stronger for it. And there will be some sense of achievement and victory that you feel good about. And it definitely feels that there are people around you helping, supporting you on this victory. Because certainly the universe is, this is about listen to your intuition. And I definitely feel this week that whatever the situation is, you are going to be feeling re-energized, reconnecting to who you are, coming back into your element. Um, and that's a beautiful thing. I'm also seeing, you see all the water, I mean, this is the Mermaid Oracle Debt by Karen Kay, beautiful energy. Um, but this is to do with, um, I'm feeling finding your flow again. Being in your flow, who you are. Because the Two of Wands is about choices, decisions. How do I move forward at a crossroads? Which way do I go? And it feels in terms of the moon is about lack of clarity and it this is you I mean the Queen of Cups is you how do I move forward I don't know how to move forward I don't know how to make choices I don't know how to get stability and security back in a relationship the King of Pentacles is about security safety solidity because and it feels like and the moon energy is also listening to your intuition. It's a card of surrender, trusting your intuition, your instincts. When we can't see things clearly with our normal senses, our intuition kicks in and guides us forward because it's how spirit steps in and gives us hidden blessings, guides us forward in times of where things are magnified, where things may be feeling see, seeming worse than they are, though obviously with a Ten of Swords it's not easy energy. Um, but it can be when our emotions just distort the reality of the situation and the perspective that we need. Now, the King of Cups, again, this can be about, mo it can be about moody energy or something that's making you feel down. It could be to do with either jealousy or something that has made you feel really down, maybe unhappy in a situation. And I feel this King of Cups is another person. It feels like the other half of your relationship because the Ten of Swords can be about loss lost relationship it can be about betrayal it can be about hurt so something has happened that has caused you some pain some hurt here but the ten in tarot is 
a completion. So the pain is over if you allow it to be now. And it feels like you're ready. You're, I mean, it feels like this has happened over a period of time. It doesn't feel like this is all going to happen this week. I feel that, that this reading is coming in on the back end of what this is. And you can see the sun, the lighter clouds behind the swords. The sun is trying to push through, bringing a new day, a new dawn, saying it is a release of the old. It is time to step into a new path. But it's also the illumination, the clarity that you're getting in your own mind that you've had struggle to get before. So it feels like there is some clarity that you're getting to make a decision or choice here, Cancer, and it seems like quite a powerful one. Because the advice from Spirit is The Seven of Pentacles can be a card of evaluation, taking stock of a situation. Um, and again, it feels like to do with, I mean, it's taking time as well, giving yourself time and space to take stock of a situation in order, I feel, to make decisions and choices on how you move forward. Um, it's also a card of, of perseverance and determination. Uh, good things come to those that are patient. It feels like this is where you're at that cross it definitely feels like this crossroads energy cancer and you're wondering which direction to go and you're you're kind of evaluating what's worth your time and energy and what isn't worth your time and energy and it is to bring stability and security and safety into your life now this is also very good in terms of material success this is also very good in terms of um healing getting back on track i mean it is a virgo energy um, I'm definitely feeling this energy. How do I move forward? How do I get myself feeling restored? What is best for me right now? And my abundance and my security and solidity. Um, because that's exactly what I'm feeling here. The, the Nine of Pentacles can also be a card of independence. So if it is a relationship, it might well be that some of you were evaluating your circumstances and being on your own. Because the Five of Swords is about conflict, arguments, and I think it's to do with this Ten of Swords, Cancer, um, disagreements. It can be the card of the victor, but it comes at a cost. It can come at a cost of relationships. It can come at a cost of bad feeling, resentments. I mean, there's levels to this card. Um, and there's an energy here that you need to see past that Five of Swords now because the more we stay in the Five of five Energies, the more disruptive we feel, the more unstable and unsettled we feel. So there's a need to see past the now and I feel that's what you're trying to do. It feels like, I mean, some of you might be wanting answers here in this situation as well. I'm, I'm getting that. I mean, this can be about healing, getting back on track, but I'm seeing between these energies, I feel some of you want answers from somebody. It feels like you want answers. You're requiring answers from somebody. Clarity. And it's all part of you making a decision choice on how you move forward. But the beautiful thing is, Cancer, I mean, the Six of Cups, I mean, it can be a card of reconnection. So possibly reconnection to each other, maybe. But generally, it's, it's, it's a card of revisiting the past it can be about nostalgia looking back um, and it might well be that you're weighing up the history versus how you want to move forward and weighing it up against what this ten of swords was so you're weighing up the history that you've had together against what this ten of swords was and maybe making some decision or choice cancer but it's a beautiful energy because cancer you are at the end of your reading you're at the beginning of your reading it feels like whatever this is i mean remember the six of cups can also be reconnection to who you are finding yourself finding your joy your happiness and reconnecting to who you are. So being back in your element and being back in your flow. So it definitely feels like whatever this decision or choice is, um, it is gonna put you back in your flow. I mean, she is an energy and it's a beautiful energy, the Queen of Cups of, I am who I am. 
you know she is always in a flow she is connected very very connected to who she is and for that reason you know it is just it's, it's an energy of, of know thyself and she does very well and she has full awareness of, of who she is and what she's about and somebody who is very much in their flow and I, and I feel in this energy if there has been some crossroads where you've come to a standstill I feel that you're finding progress again that six of wands finding progress making headway maybe making some decision in which way you're going to go and putting a difficult situation behind you so I'm going to pull a final card And again, the hermit is finding the illumination from within. So we have, it's lovely, this energy. You are being protected by the universe. That's what you're being told. The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual work. It's a lovely energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Cancer. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.